Greetings and welcome to the introduction to astronomy. One of the things that I like to do in each of my introductory astronomy classes is to begin the class with the astronomy picture of the day from the NASA website that is apod.nasa.gov apod. And today's picture for January 12th of 2023 well, it is titled Stardust in Perseus. So what do we see here? Well, this is part of a star cluster and the surrounding areas where stars are currently in the process of formation. So the young star cluster known as IC348 uh, is present. And then we see again a lot of dark dusty areas uh, as we head towards the right side of the image which are regions of current star formation. Now we don't get to see stars as they are forming especially when we look at ordinary visible light and that is because they are obscured by the dust. Dust material will block out the light from them. And now while we think that might be a very dense thing, really those dusty areas are very good vacuums. Uh, and they are only blocking the light because they are so large. So while there are dust particles scattered over light years worth of area, eventually, as you look through that region, there can be enough dust that no matter where you look, your line of sight will eventually reach a dust particle and be blocked. So it's not that there's a lot of dust there concentrated. It's a very good vacuum compared to anything we have here on Earth. But it is enough material to block out the light from behind it. Within those dark dusty knots, we know that protostars are forming stars are in the process of collapsing under gravity and heating up in the interior. They first become a protostar, the beginnings of a star, but not quite a full-fledged star yet. In order for an object to be considered a star, it has to be converting hydrogen into helium in its core. That is our dividing line between what is a star and what is not a star. So in order to be as considered a star, it has to be hot enough reaching about 10 million degrees in the core of the star in order for it to be producing hydrogen into helium and producing its own energy. Anything less than that, and it will not become a star, it'll become what we call a brown dwarf star, uh, which is kind of in between a full fledged star and a planet. A planet, it would be much, much smaller. And of course, we're associated with those within our own solar system. So what we see here is shaped by those stars that have already formed and the stars that are currently forming. And it is a constantly changing view that we would see over changing over thousands and tens of thousands of years as new stars continually begin to appear within this region. So that was our picture of the day for January 12th of 2023. It was titled Stardust in Perseus. We'll be back again tomorrow for the next picture. So until then, have a great day everyone, and I will see you in class.